There is someone in the upcoming 2023 NFL draft that no one is really talking about, but I want the Chicago Bears to go after. Jonathan Mingo, wide receiver from Ole Miss, is in my opinion a very similar player like DK Metcalf, and I think Chicago could snag him in the late second, early third round, and he could be a huge key to next season's success. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde. Thank you for tuning in. Before I get more into Jonathan Mingo and why I think that Ryan polls should consider it to draft him in this upcoming draft please make sure you hit the like button on this video put your thoughts in the comment section below if you want jonathan mingo to come to the bears or someone that you want me to do a review on over the next couple of weeks and if you like chicago sports content like this and haven't already please hit the subscribe button so who is jonathan mingo jonathan mingo is a wide receiver from Ole miss he is 6 226 pounds and he's a senior at 22 years old from brandon mississippi he is a huge sleeper right now for the Chicago Bears to look after, especially needing another big body wide receiver to go alongside Chase Claypool. And I think that he could be a huge steal. And I'm going to talk to you about why. In 2022 for Ole Miss, he had 51 receptions, but with that, he had 861 receiving yards. That is 16.9 yards per catch, and he had five touchdowns. He exploded his senior year when he got the opportunity at Ole Miss, and his stock keeps going up with how he did at the Senior Bowl and also some of the more highlight clips that I've seen of him. According to NFLDraftBuzz.com, he has an 85.1 overall grade. He is the number 12 ranked wide receiver in this upcoming draft, and I am shocked that more Bears podcasts haven't talked about him yet. He's a 40 time of 4.46, which is 0.02 slower than Justin Fields, but he's a big bodied wide receiver, and you can always get faster, especially at the NFL level. His quarterback's QBR when he is targeted is 99.8. You also have to consider, though, that he played against some of the toughest secondaries in college football this past year while he was at Ole Miss. His hands rating is 74 out of 100, one of the highest that I've had out of all my reviews so far. Short routes, 84 out of 100. Medium routes, 82 out of 100. And the kicker is 89 out of 100 on his deep routes. And on top of it, his blocking is 69 out of 100. That is the second highest blocking grade for a wide receiver I've done so far. I mean, look at the grade itself. This guy is ranked number 12 and he has all these positives to him. Honestly, the only thing that I think is hurting him is his speed. And he was even 0.1 seconds faster. So he was flirting with the high 0.43s he would be probably the number two wide receiver in this upcoming draft. His size alone makes me want to draft him. 6'2", 226 makes him an absolute bully when going up against shorter defenders. And still, he's not a slow guy. So a big guy with all that speed, he's going to be able to use that body for a lot of different situations. According to scouts, he is also insanely difficult to take down once he has the ball. He is also a strong blocking wide receiver that we all know the Chicago Bears have a super strong running game with Khalil Herbert potentially bringing back David Montgomery and then and our quarterback, Justin Fields. Having the ability to bully your secondary by blocking them downfield and bringing them out of bounds potentially is always a positive, and I think that he can bring that to them. Like I said, he is one of the highest hands graded at all the wide receivers that I have done so far of my draft prospects, and having that and that reliability that Justin Fields can go on when he tosses in the ball, whether it's medium, short, or deep, I am all about it. His route running ability is also top notch according to scouts. His catch to go and run ability is one of the best in the upcoming draft according to NFLDraftBuzz.com. He is a great long wide receiver that also gives him the opportunity for contested catches and potential overthrows. And he has quick feet to beat out defenders. I really like Jonathan Mingo and I think you guys will too once you learn a little bit more about him after this video. But put your thoughts in the comment section below and if there's anyone else that you want me to review, I will definitely put it on the list and it will be up in the next couple weeks. Thank you very much for joining this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde and we'll see you guys next time.